Have you ever had an experience where you're just going about life and you run into all sorts of setbacks and it feels like you can't make any progress and like no matter how hard you, you try you just can't get out of the muck. Have you ever like had an experience like that and then get at the very end of things everything still just kind of works out and it still feels like things are okay and maybe they, they turn out as you kind of feel they should. In the coming Sunday we have a, we have a story from uh, early in Jesus' life, right after he was born, when his father Joseph is warned in a dream to take him and the family down to Egypt. And, uh, you know, Joseph probably didn't want to go to Bethlehem in the first place to be registered for taxation. Uh, and then when he's down there, he gets warned in a dream that he's got to go to Egypt, which is, you know, where his ancestors were enslaved 1,300 years ago, and they had continually come and beat up, you know, the people of Judea and Israel. And so he's got to go down there until God tells him to come on back, which presumably was several years until this, this all passed. And who knows, you know, did he ever send a postcard? back to the family, kind of letting them know, hey, I'm going to be delayed a little while, or, you know, did they keep his business running for him while he was away? I mean, talk about unexpected setbacks. This Sunday, we continue our sermon series, the second of three parts, which is called God's Plans and Ours. Last Sunday, we talked about resolutions and plans and goals we set for the future in light of what we know of God's plans for our lives and for the world. And this coming Sunday, we talk about obstacles. The setbacks, the delays, the difficulties, the hardships that uh, block us or slow us or change our course from achieving the goals that we set out to achieve and how we're, as people of faith, how we, how we are to approach and navigate those. So come and join us as we uh, continue on in this cool series and uh, step over this threshold into 2019 together. So God bless and happy to see you Sunday. Bye-bye.